Welcome to my channel. Today, I am excited to share with you a fun and practical project, an automatic plant watering system using Arduino. This project is perfect for anyone who wants to ensure their plants are always properly watered, even when they are not around. By the end of this video, you'll know how to set up and program an Arduino to automatically water your plants based on soil moisture levels. Let's get started. This project is made using an Arduino Uno. First, we take an Arduino as the brain of this project. The Arduino will control all the components and make decisions based on the input it receives from the soil moisture sensor. It will activate the water pump when the soil is too dry, ensuring your plants are always properly watered. After that, I am going to add a 16 by 2 LCD display. This display will show the current condition of the soil and the status of the motor, whether it is on or off. This makes it easy to monitor the system at a glance. Next, I add three push buttons to control the menu. The first push button is used to enter the menu and select options. The second and third push buttons are used to change the setting parameters, such as adjusting the moisture threshold at which the motor activates. This setup gives you flexible control over the system. Then, I use a key component called the soil moisture sensor. This sensor is responsible for measuring the moisture level in the soil. It consists of two probes that detect how wet or dry the soil is. The sensor sends this information to the Arduino, which then determines whether the plant needs watering. Next, I add a relay to control the motor. This is a simple relay used to start and stop the motor. For this project, I am using a 5-volt SPDT relay. The relay acts as a switch that the Arduino can control, turning the motor on or off based on the soil moisture readings. Next, I add the motor to handle the load. In this project, I am using a 12-volt DC motor. However, you can use any motor you prefer, including AC motors, as long as you ensure that the relay's ampere rating matches the motor's requirements. Just make sure to use a suitable 5 volts relay for your specific application. To make the project more useful and eco-friendly, I add a 12-volt solar cell. This solar cell powers the entire system, allowing it to operate independently of any external power source. By harnessing solar energy, the project becomes more sustainable, reducing its environmental impact, and making it ideal for outdoor use, where a constant power supply might not be available. To ensure the input voltage is stable, I add a voltmeter connected in parallel with the solar cell. This allows me to monitor the voltage being supplied to the system and ensure it remains within the required range for proper operation. With the hardware part complete, it's time to focus on coding the Arduino. I've already prepared the code for this project, and you can find the link to it in the description below. The code is designed to be simple and user-friendly, with each line commented to explain its function. This will help you understand how the system reads the soil moisture, controls the relay, and interacts with the LCD display and push buttons. By following the code and comments, you should be able to customize and troubleshoot your project with ease. Now, let's start the simulation. As you can see, the motor responds dynamically to the moisture values detected by the sensor. The system activates the motor to water the plant when the soil moisture falls below the set threshold and turns it off when the desired moisture level is reached. You can easily adjust the moisture thresholds using the push buttons. The first push button lets you enter the menu and select different settings. The second and third push buttons allow you to set the lower and upper moisture limits, respectively. By customizing these settings, you can fine-tune the system to meet your plant's specific needs. This flexibility ensures that your plant gets the right amount of water, helping it thrive without requiring constant manual intervention. Additionally, the LCD display provides real-time feedback on the soil moisture levels and the status of the motor, making it easy to monitor the system's performance. With the solar cell powering the entire setup, this automatic plant watering system is both efficient and environmentally friendly. Whether you're at home or away, you can have peace of mind knowing that your plants are being taken care of. Now, see how the project is working. Just see how it works as I explained before. The video is getting close to the end, so I'll show the system in action. 
As the soil moisture level changes, the system dynamically responds by turning the motor on and off. The LCD display shows real-time soil moisture readings and motor status, allowing you to monitor the system's operation. Adjust the moisture thresholds using the push buttons to ensure your plants receive the optimal amount of water. This demonstration highlights the efficiency and reliability of the automatic plant watering system, powered by sustainable solar energy. And that wraps up our automatic plant watering project. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful and enjoyed the project, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more exciting and informative content. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks again and see you in the next video.